Welcome everybody to the Acacia Ridge Skate Plaza review. Starting off with this ledge that has a slanted face. It's probably the most unique ledge here. The slanted face means that you can ride up at intergrinds, kind of like you were riding a quarter pipe. However, the lack of transition and the steepness does make it quite hard to do so. The next ledge is a ledge of the exact same dimensions. However, this ledge does not have a slanted face. Because of how short it is, you can't really do grinds to different grinds on the same ledge, but you can do tricks into grinds and tricks out of grinds. The next ledge of the skate park is this long, mellow, curved ledge. So this ledge is really fun to ride, it has a really nice length on it, and it also has a slant on the top of the ledge which goes downwards away from the coping. This means that it's really easy to lock into 5.0s and 50s because you can actually lean, rather than traditional ledges being so flat on salad. top. Salad. That was a salad. Yeah. The mellow curve oh, in this man. ledge isn't too dramatic, which means that you can, if you can ride a straight ledge, you can ride this one. <laughs> In my personal opinion, this is the funnest ledge of the skate park. As you can see, we had the biggest session out of every ledge on this ledge here. The next obstacle at the skate park is two ledges that meet at the corner. Now you can't ride these two ledges together. By that I mean you can't ride them in the same combination because it is a direct right angle. However, it is cool that they've made two ledges and they've just joined them at the corner rather than being two separate ledges. This is a nice way to corner off the skate park. The negative to these ledges is that you can't come to the ledges straight on for manuals because you would have to ride in the grass. So to do manual tricks, you do have to come in from the side, but that isn't a problem for grinds. The next obstacle is the flat rail. This is a very short in height flat rail and it's not too long in length either. It's a very good rail for beginners trying to learn new tricks. Although it is square, the fact that it's so thin does make it nice to do 50s and 5Os on because if you have a wide enough deck, you can lean over the rail. Unlike a wider rail or a ledge, which you can't lean at all in five rows and fifties. Oh. <gasps> oh, the next obstacle is the longest ledge at the skate park. It is a long straight ledge, which eventually goes into on one side, a curved ledge and on the other side, a sharp redirect ledge. On the other side of the long ledge, there is a garden gap which you have to grind over, which is just an extra little factor to make your grinds feel a little bit more difficult and satisfying. And last but not least, the center of the skate park has a garden area that is lined with a curb. One side of which is very waxed up. However, it was ridden quite a lot before it was waxed to the amount that it is now, meaning it is very chunked up and quite difficult to ride, but you can have a little bit of fun on it nonetheless. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, support Rider Owned by shopping at Syndicate Store. See you at the next video.